wa tetezi wa haki za kibinadamu katika kaunti ya Kisii wamejitokeza kutetea mtoto wa kike dhidi ya ukikitaji. Wanaitaka serikali kutozembea katika vita hivi. Viviano Diambo na mengi zaidi. Kampeni za kupinga ukikitaji wa wasichana na wanawake zimeshika kasi huku wanawake katika jamii ya kisiwa kiunga mkono siku ya kimataifa ya kupambana na ukikitaji iliyofanyika jana katika shule ya sekondari F10 kaunti ya Garissa. Mwenyekiti wa haki za kibinafsi katika kaunti ya Garissa Muktar Osman alidokeza kuwa matokeo hayo bado yanatendeka licha ya harakati zao kupambana na hali hii katika jamii amesema kuwa kuna haja ya uhamasisho zaidi kwani visa vya ukikitaji bado vinashuhudiwa. Garissa iko katika zile kaunti ambaye bado ziko na percentage juu ya wasichana ambaye wanakeketwa. Lakini sisi kama mashirika na viongozi tunajaribu kupigana, tunajaribu kuhamasisha wananchi, tunajaribu pia kushirikiana na viongozi wa dini, viongozi wa kiserikali na viongozi wa shirika yote ili kuhakikisha kwamba tunasema zero tolerance to FGM. Daktari Magdalene Gesare wa eneo la Kisi amewalemisha wazazi wasichana na wanawake katika shule ya msingi ya Nyakongo ameeleza kuwa ni wakati mwafaka jamii ya bagusi kususia tamaduni za ukeketaji as a community while we are saying we bring to an end FGM we should also sit down as a community and address the cultural aspects that brought this on board because the parents still want to cling to their culture and they feel that their culture is, is something worth um, hanging on to they do not want to ignore it kadhalika amebainisha kuwa idadi kubwa ya wasichana wanaokiketwa wana umri mdogo huku akisema wanaotekeleza ukiketaji ni matabibu bandia a large percentage of the girls who are being cut right now are children and they are being cut by medics either it is either a medic a person who has trained as a medical officer or a person who is uh, um, masquerading Mkurugenzi wa huduma za kijinsia na vijana katika kaunti ya Kisii Douglas Aregi alisema kuwa shirika la muungano la kimataifa UN linasaidia serikali ya kaunti kuendeleza ustawi wa mtoto wa kike na kukomesha ufikitaji ifikapo mwaka 2030. The UN and government has committed to what 2030 agenda of eliminating female genital mutilation. We have seven years as Kisii and Kenya to eliminate female genital mutilation within our community. Watetezi hao wa haki waliwaelimisha wanajamii kuwa wasichana wanaokeketwa kukumbana na madhara yanayodhuru afya ya uzazi kwa muda mrefu kupoteza damu nyingi mshtuko na kuwa afya yao ya kiakili huathirika Odhiambo Vivian Runinga ya KU